we finally got the melee manager in Fallen and Crave, and it is insane. It's brung so many new melee weapons, and it's so customizable. The device is like almost 10,000 memory, it's very expensive, but it is worth it. There's only two, I know I said there's a lot, but this is before. So you just drop your weapon in, and you can change the display name of it. So I thought what I'd do here, I just change it to Bingy Boings. It's actually really cool because people can make bosses, like if it's someone's henchman, and you can just name anything you want. I do wish you could change it to mythic, but you can change it all the way to the legendary. And you can change all the damage, uh, the abilities, and the uh, different like, things. You can also change the colour of him and the glow, and also how like fast the um, it attacks. Overall, this is a big game change for Fortnite Creative, and it's probably going to impact it a lot. Anyways, let's go into the next part of the Fortnite Creative update. Okay, that's a different stuff. We got loads of brand new prefabs from the imposters and coastal crops. This is the imposter galleries. I expected more props like the banana and so much more, but we only got like the inside bits. Still cool, but I would have accepted more. This elevator prop is actually really cool as well. Here are some of the new props in the primal gallery from coastal crops. We've got some nice pieces, but it's similar to the other location, so it's not that special. This is what I'm mostly excited for, is this customizable grass and trees, and it is actually amazing. You can customize with any colour, and it changes like this, and it's actually so cool. This is going to come in handy for biomes, but the next thing I'm going to be expecting is terrain, a customizable different colour terrain. That would be like the best. Here is the customizable trees, it's actually really cool. I, would, uh, I wish we had some bushes and um, rocks that could change colour, but this is still cool, and then if you notice there's a search bar, you can check your search up what colour you want looking for. If you go into your settings of your map to your, your secrecy settings, and you can now change the max players from 50 all the way to 60 now. I still don't think that the creative servers will handle this, but yeah, we've got it now. This is a big change, but now you can change your flight speed from 5 times all the way to 10 times, so you can now zoom across your map a lot faster, so it's going to be a lot easier. We've got some very exciting um, leaks as well, we've got the brand new Storm Call device that will be used in the Creative Battle Royale. That is going to be the brand new 100 player Creative Battle Royale. I'm not sure what this really is, but I know that you're going to be able to play with 100 players in a Fortnite Creative map, and that is going to be laggy. And I know a lot of people will be excited for this, but we've got a loot control device. So you're going to be using custom loot pulls that are actually custom, and not just like random guns at once. So you can probably like change the rarity of different guns. So it's like a 10% chance of having a legendary gun. So it's going to be a lot better. And the, uh, the last device, we've got the deployment glider. I don't, I'm not sure, but if you've ever played Fortnite split screen, you're going to know what this is. But you can drop in like multiple people at once and if you know Apex Legends and the t like the fly leader so if one person goes somewhere all the players will like uh, connect to that person so they're going to fall exactly where that is if you know what I mean so thanks everyone for watching make sure to like subscribe if you want to consider using code bingy bangs in the Fortnite item shop it really helps me out and goodbye